Okay, fighters, no the rules. Listen to my commands all the time when I say stop, be stop. Touch gloves. Go back to your corners. So Lukas Bozowski in charge of this bantamweight bout. Oleg Borisov in the blue corner. Murad Kalimov in the red. What's interesting to see as well, Borisov five foot three, but takes a, a size large gloves. He's got hammer for fists. Whereas Kalimov, if you look across the cage, hasn't has opted not to have his hands wrapped, which is much more the grappler's preference. It makes it easier to grab things, but we have such high-level hand wrappers in the back. You can let them know to wrap your hands like a grappler, which is a lighter wrap. But it still allows you to open and close your grip without really pumping up your forearms. And it still gives some protection to the back of the hand, so you don't break it on contact with somebody. Where it's just going completely barefisted like this, that's dangerous. Second time that Kalimov's opted for the outside calf kick. Great front balance in your opponent. Oh, lovely body shot there from Oleg Borisov. Kalimov's got to be careful, that left hand is low, and Borisov's money shot, he finished Tarul Ragimov with it with a KO of the year. Oh, is that overhand right? Borisov formerly fought a featherweight. Actually, was on a huge streak before ACB 50, a 16 fight win streak. A number of those fights at featherweight, but really feels his home and his future and has made it down at bantamweight now. And oh, nice one too from Kalimov. On the more reason he put his. <laughs> should have wrapped his hands just a tad bit. Especially, it seems like the game plan here is to. And you see him respecting the clinch takedowns of Borisov. That judo has come into play so many times in this fight. And his low, low center of gravity, it hit you so fast with a switch or a, a, a trip. You can, and he, he already has a sort of an advantage once you clinch because his hips are lower than yours. So to get under your hips is not a hard feat. What an explosive entry. Lucas Bozowski right on top of that to stop any further damage. But I said earlier in the fight, Kalimov has got to watch that low left hand for the overhand right of Borisov. He closes distance so quickly and the powerful, powerful striker, especially early on in the fight. Talk us through this. He'd already set it up by throwing left hand, left hand. That time when he blitzed in, he threw a real straight right lead. And his speed is also super impressive. His musketry is just not just pure strength. He's powerful, he's fast, he's flexible. So he can make up for that deficit of height by how fast he can close distance. Kalimov looking extremely disappointed there. The only loss on his career prior to that was four fights ago to PT Yan, our current champion. So that's a huge scout for Boris and a statement as to why he should be considered one of the top contenders up in this division now. And what a night to do it on. The bantamweight title being contested. And you may just have scored knockout of the night against the top contender. Absolutely. Impressive. Well established. He was setting up left hooks to the body. I thought he was going to try to blitz in with a left hook to the head. And instead changed it up for everybody. Even Kalimov didn't see it. That right hand to the head. Razor round. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner comes to you in the two minutes and 12 seconds of round number one. Победу нокаутом одержалем его фейнер by knockout victory. Алия Донкра Парфиса. Huge finish there for Oleg Borisov. Re-establishes himself in this bantamweight division with a powerful overhand right that will have sent shockwaves right down that roster.